Oh, to a crucial yet often overlooked aspect of self-care. We are talking about our feet. Joining us now in this sponsored interview is Dr. Kate Decker from Summit Foot and Ankle to share the secrets to a healthy nighttime routine. Hi, doctor. Hi, how are you guys? We're good. Okay, a healthy nighttime routine yes. for feet looks like what? So, you know, a lot of times what we don't realize is that why we sleep at night our legs start to kind of tighten up our calves and things like that. So um, this can kind of be for all ages. I mean, we've got our elderly who complain about cramping in the middle of the night. Um, and there's been a lot of research that's shown that if you do 10, 15 minutes of stretching um, of your calves and your feet before bed, can actually significantly reduce those cramps. And I mean, that leads to a much better sleep and everything like that. So, um, and then, you know, for people with, with heel pain and for Achilles tendonitis and things like that too, um, these are things where you go to sleep and you just let that foot kind of relax and um, if you haven't stretched out a lot of times you can it can lead to bigger sometimes problems. Sometimes you don't know you should have stretched until yes. you take that first step out of bed in the morning yep, exactly. and you wish you had. Yeah, yeah, you know plantar fasciitis that's the first thing everyone always complains about is oh my goodness the first steps in the morning those first like 20 seconds are so terrible um, and so you know that's those are different things we can um, really kind of before we go to sleep, try to, to prevent that from happening. Oh, I so. like the idea of yeah. nipping it in the bud before it even exactly. has a chance to happen. Yes. Okay, yes. so there's several ways to do it. What have yes. you got? Okay, so these are some different stretching things, all right? Um, and I think, too, they're going to put a couple of slides up um, that are going to show some stretching as well. Um, so we've got both of our calf and then the arch as well that needs to be stretched. So arch-wise, we've got these two balls. Some people love this. You know, personally, this is a little much for me, but, you know, if you like the little spikes, that's fine. And then if that's too much, um, then what we have is this uh, kind of a squishy ball, okay? Here, we'll hold Thank these you. up. Thank <laughs> you. We'll let you get re-clipped so we can make sure we hear all of this information. And this goes right on the arch and your foot, oh, just yes. like that, and your foot yes. rolls over the top of it. Great pictures, yeah. Um, and the other thing you can do, too, is you can roll, and you also can, especially with the squishy one here, mm -hmm. this is called a pinky ball, um, you can put that and just kind of let your foot, it's, I say melt over it, so you kind of put it in the arch and let the foot just kind of exactly form to it. Form to that. We've got all these little tiny muscles between um, on our foot called intrinsic, and they're really hard to stretch unless you just kind of let that form around the foot and stretch around it. Who needs it. these stretches? Everyone. <laughs> people who wear high heels. People, people who wear who high don't heels. Wear people high who heels. are going for like walking a ton and runners. Um, you know, anyone can stretch. Um, you know, we got this stretching here, which is just massaging the back of your calf. People think a lot of times of the big rollers, but this one actually works better. It's simple. It's just taking your foot up like this and oh, massaging and like just that. that back right there. Just I in have there. to try that right yeah. now because and you guys. And if you find a spot, stick to it and just kind of go. So you, <laughs> you came on a good day. I kid you not. The other day, are I you in pain? I was sitting here on set and I think it was cold in here and I just kind of clenched up and my yeah. calf hurt all weekend. So I feel all like weekend. we often focus on the thigh and roll yes. that on the thigh and we forget about yeah. the calf. Yeah, yeah. And it's hard to use that big roller. You know, a lot of people have the foam rollers for their calves mm -hmm. and things like that. This is so much better for the um, for the calf. You I'm know, not giving this back. <laughs> no, that does it. Okay, then she can tell us about this yes. one while yes. you use that so one. So this one, um, and you can use, you don't have to get the fancy. You can use a belt. You can use a towel. Um, but basically, this would um, hooks over the part of your foot. And then you, if you're laying on your back, you can put your leg up and stretch out. You can go straight in front of you um, and stretch with that. Again, yes, we've got some different band you stretches. You don't understand how important this is until you have foot pain. <laughs> and for yes. some reason, when that foot hurts, Everything hurts. Yes. Yeah. And I mean, it's it's physical and mental. You know, if you can't get around um, and do what you want to do, it, it can really be debilitating. What, what about this guy? So that's a night splint. And this is a this is kind of the big one. There's a, several different styles out there. Um, but with these night splints, these we particularly use for plantar fasciitis um, and, you know, in heel pain. You strap this thing on and all night you sleep at 90 degrees. And so those, you know, talking about those first steps in the morning hurting, this um, can really help alleviate that. And they are a little difficult to get used to sleeping in, but um, a lot of people find that it's worth you get um, the relief how to do it yes. in the morning. Yes. Will you explain what plantar fasciitis is? I hear that, and I don't know if I understand what that yes. is. Yes, um, and I think it's good to explain it. And um, so the plantar fascia is the part of the that's the fascia on the bottom of your foot that's kind of holding the arch up and attaches there to the bottom of your heel. So when you're getting that really sharp pain on your heel, typically that's what it is. 
There are a lot of things it can be, though. So, you know, making sure that if you things aren't getting better, come see a provider to make sure that come they're you. Go to Summit Foot and Ankle. That's yes. the spot you go check yes. out because they have all these tips and tricks. If you are feeling pain, they would love to help. SummitFootandAnkle.com is the website. They're also on social media, and there's a link on our website at abc4.com slash GTU. These are great ideas. Yes. I need to start doing that. Yes. <laughs>